I think dogs really appreciate. The rescuers, you can really feel it. Sometimes I see dogs a long time after they were rescued, and you can tell that they appreciate it. It's just a special bond that was created between us during the rescue. Some people call me a dog catcher. I'm like, I'm not a dog catcher. I'm a dog rescuer. And I go and I, and I build a relationship with these animals. Oh, there she is. Holy moly. Okay, so she definitely has mange. Hey, kid. Many times, you know, when you get to dogs in situations like this, you can be too late. Where an infection is just too overwhelming and they just don't recover from it. You just don't know how, it, you know, we're going to come out at the other end. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We spent quite a while on that pile of trash. We spent more than an hour just to reassure her that everything will be fine because I wanted to be a positive experience for her to create a less stressful event from this whole thing. Wanna stand up? Let's stand up. Come on. Let's get up. Come on. I mean, it's interesting. She actually like, jumped into my car. She was so ready to be rescued. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Many people don't realize how exhausting it is to be a stray dog. You're always on alert because you don't know who's going to come behind you or who's going to attack you or who's going to be not kind to you. Once they come to us, they relax and they allow themselves to just deal with everything they have to deal with in order to get better. I mean, with Miley, she slept for three days. It's not just the physical healing, but it's also the mental healing part of it. And this is really where it became so beautiful with the connection between Miley and Frankie. Hi, good boy. Come on. Okay, let's go all the way. It's so crazy that they're hundreds of cars driving right above me right now. And if there's an earthquake right now, this is my grave site. Come on, little chihuahua. In the middle of that sewer tunnel under the five freeway, exactly at the center of it, some trash kind of piled together. And it was a nest. Hi, and this is where he slept. He had been there for a long time, and so his emotional recovery is, is harder. Oh, no. These two creatures just bonded and became very good friends. Frankie was licking her wounds. It's so beautiful, especially because he was so shut down himself. When I held the camera in that room that day, I knew I captured the most amazing moment there. So many people ask me, you know, how do you deal with this emotionally? Because I see these horrible things every day. And this is what makes you strong because you see these animals, it's, it's really an evolution. You can really see in the first few days when you see a dog who's completely shut down, who is so sick, who is so sad and depressed and, and the quick evolution, like a week later, it's a 10 days later, it's a whole different dog. Because it always goes back to that image of her on the trash pile. And to, to see that, my oh God, she looks so healthy now. It's just beautiful to see. Many people see themselves in these dogs. If a person is in that vulnerable 
place and they look at Miley and they see the transformation, they can see that there's hope and things get better.